everybody, it's Alicia with Tupperware. So I wanted to do some DIY spice mixes for you using our Tupperware large spice shakers. So what I like to do is mix up my own spices at home. Uh, several reasons for that, but the most being that my husband has high blood pressure and so we eliminate the salt content in our spices and I cannot digest onion powder. And so we leave out onion and onion powder from our recipes as well. And so by doing them at home, I can put what I want to put in them and still have all the flavor of our food. We don't have bland food. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to take our basil. We're going to do two tablespoons of several of these spices. And I'll show you what we're making. There's one. And I always mix it into a bowl first before I put it into the spice makers or the spice shakers. I'm sorry. Um, one. I can remember how much I'm making <laughs> and two if I'm doing it in here and I measure it incorrectly I can always dump it and I don't have to worry about it messing up my my seasoning all right we're gonna jar our oregano two tablespoons of it as well I'm using the Tupperware measuring spoons um, if I get sidetracked and I'm writing I'm multitasking and doing more than one thing at a time I can set it down on the table when it has it in there and you see how it just sits there it has a flat bottom to it and it's arced on the handle so it just sits there and it waits for me to come back so I really like these all right so we needed two tablespoons of this and this is why I like using my large Tupperware shakers because my spices don't clump um, if they're in the containers that they come in in the grocery store they get moisture in them they clump um, and then you have to break them up and do like that um, and when I'm using my Tupperware shakers they don't do that so and they do last longer too a lot longer all right so we need our time I think that's what I have in my hand yes it is and I use ground time the recipe calls for a dried time so we're going to do one tablespoon of this. And again, if you're using a um, dried spice or ground spice over um, fresh spices, you might not need to use as much. As you grind it and store it, it does lose its potency. So. Um, just keep that in mind when you're doing your recipes. And if you're doing a new recipe, err on the side of less. You can always add more to it, but you cannot take it away once you put it in. So, all right, so that's about one tablespoon. Um, garlic powder, we need one tablespoon. Okay. I love garlic. Oh my gosh, in any form. Whole, ground up, minced. Oh. It's just so good. All right. So what I have made is a version of Italian seasoning. And so you see on my bottle, Italian seasoning, I do label my stuff. I have one for taco and one for chili. And I have a vegetable one when we're doing grilled vegetables. Um, I'll just sprinkle a little bit of that on there. And again, it's missing salt. It's missing the onion. All of them are. And so they're tailor-made for us. So if that's something that you're interested in, check it out. I really enjoyed doing this demo for you. Have a nice day.